Well, I figured I'd make a little video here of the latest projects going on around the place. I've been getting a whole lot of new subscribers lately. I guess YouTube has finally opened up the, the faucet on views and subscribers, so I figured I'd better make some kind of video here. I'm working on a new duck coop. I've got a couple of, uh, well, not a couple, a dozen new ducks coming in the mail in the end of March, so I'm building a new coop for them. I've got those few ducks that I made a video about late last summer. I had a few ducks given to me and I like them quite a bit, so got some more. So that's the coop I've been working on. I've just finished up this wall, which actually is just set on there temporarily for now. It's not attached yet. There's the inside view. This is uh, the higher wall. The other one, this one is three and a half feet high. The other wall will be two and a half feet high. That way the roof has a slant to it. And my strategy here was to build this platform thing first. It's kind of on a sled with runners on it, sort of, so I can move it around. And then I built the uh, walls basically separately. Just got this one finished up. Kind of a screen window there so I can see in for ventilation. I might eventually make some kind of a door or shutters or something that goes over that just to uh, you know keep the weather out when I need to when it's really cold and windy or something but generally with ducks having uh, good ventilation is more important than trying to keep them warm they're extremely cold hardy much more so than chickens so that's that wall the other wall over here I just kind of got partly tacked together and the nest, nest boxes are going to go down in this area here between these two 2x4s two that's 18 inches high. The nest boxes will be um, basically 18 inch, 18 inches cubed. Whoops, I'm zooming accidentally. So they will go in there. I'm going to do I think four nest boxes, which is plenty for a dozen ducks, which is about what I'm building this for. So that'll be about six feet long, and this is eight feet all together, so there'll be like a two foot uh, long wider section at the end there, which uh, when I, if I end up putting the ducklings in here when they're small, I'll have that larger area to put feeders and waterers and stuff in there. But uh, you know, for the most part, once the ducks are going outside during the day, I'll have the feeders and waterers outside to keep things cleaner. So, pretty simple construction. Basically, another one of my junk pile scavenged uh, construction projects. The lumber all cost me nothing. About half of it I scavenged out of the dump, and the other half was given to me, this rough sawn uh, spruce, actually is what these 2x4s and the boards all are, and uh, not the highest quality, I noticed the spruce tends to kind of warp and bend a lot, and some of it's kind of old and has some fungus and stuff growing in it, but it's free and it'll do fine for a duck coop. Here's a couple of ducks. Came out as soon as I turned the camera off. Enjoying some puddles. The brown one is a male khaki Campbell. And then I have two female Pekin ducks, the white ones. One of them has trouble walking, so she tends to stay over by the coop. I think she has had a broken leg at one point. She kind of walked with a limp for as long as I've had her. And uh, when it got cold, it really 
uh, seem to uh, become a problem for her, so she doesn't get around as good as the other ones do. She usually comes out and sits under this tree during the day, but when there's a lot of snow, she just kind of hangs out near the coop. And there she is under there, just hanging out. And there's the little old coop that someone gave me for a chicken coop quite a while ago. It's just a built on a pallet, nothing special. I just put a door on it when I got the ducks. I throw uh, clean hay in there every few days. And when it builds up a lot, I pull it out of there and throw it on my garden beds, all covered in snow now. I just put a glass on top of my half-assed coal frames. I'll probably throw some lettuce seeds in there as soon as the snow melts. And uh, I think it's going to be a good spring this year. Last year, April, was pretty grizzly, but I got a feeling this year is going to be quite a bit nicer. Pretty sure my bees are going to make it. Knock on wood. Uh, got the new ducks coming, so it's going to be pretty good, I think. Already got some uh, steam fogging up the glass on those. All right, that's it.